Hello, it's Justin from the Tech Train here, and today we're looking at how to omit page numbers from specific pages in a Microsoft Word document. If you want to add automatic page numbers, then what you'll normally do is probably head down to the footer section and then click on page number and then choose to have a simple page number put in there. The problem with that though, of course, is that as you scroll down your document, you get to a page where you realize you don't want a page number. Let's say that on this page you have a very large diagram or image or something and you don't want the page number there. How do you get rid of that? Well, the simple answer is that it's actually probably easier to think of these page numbers as being fields, which they are. If we highlight this at number six here and I right click on it, you can see um, I've got the edit field option here. And although I'm not going to go into the fields too much, the thing is that you can actually create your own fields. You can type those in yourself. Rather than going through the menu up here, you can type in a command which will generate the page numbers for you. That's fairly simple. We press Control F9 to get these little curly brackets here. I'll zoom in so you can see that a bit more clearly. There we are. So I press Control F9. You can't just type those curly brackets. You have to do the Control F9. And then I can simply type in the word page. And that will generate page numbers. But what about if we don't want page numbers on, let's say, this one? This is page 6. So how do I make sure that I don't have a page number on page 6, but I do everywhere else? OK. So I press Control F9. I then type the word if, and then after that, I'm going to press Control F9 again, and then I want the word page. And then after those curly brackets, I want the does not equal, and in speech box, the number six, the page number that I want to ignore. Um, and then after that, press F9 again and type in the word page. Now that looks a little bit uh, messy. Some of you might possibly look at that and think, yeah, I can get that. But basically what it's saying is this. If the page number that we're on does not equal six, then include the page number. So in other words, as long as the page number is not equal to six, it will include the page number. If it is in, uh, equal to six, then it won't. That's it. Now, if I press close header and footer, you'll notice that when you've done the manual uh, fields that you still see the code there. But don't worry, uh, you'll notice that if we, for example, want to print this document, if I go to uh, print and I print preview, uh, we'll see here the page number is missing from page six. So if I scroll up, you'll see we've got page one, there's page two, then page three, page four, page five, then there's an empty space at the bottom of page six, and then we go down, there's the number seven, there's the number eight. So when you print this document, your page numbers will print, and in fact I've come out of that print preview now, which means that our uh, field codes have been updated. So again, we can see here very clearly there's number five, and it's empty here. So that's how to omit a single page number from a Microsoft Word document footer. I um, hope that made sense. Um, if you have any questions or you're not sure about it or you want something slightly different, do leave a comment below. I do read them and I try my best to reply to every single comment or address them in future videos. Um, if you liked the video, if you found that useful, please do give it a thumbs up. That really does uh, make a difference to the channel, so thank you. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do consider subscribing. Um, that would be fantastic. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.